Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're going to be checking out the Lippert spare tire winch. What this component is going to allow you to do is bolt it up where you're trying to put it and give you a spot to hold your spare tire. Um, and it's one that a lot of people are probably familiar with. It reminds me of ones you see on, on regular passenger cars and trucks for the most part. Uh, you're going to have a rod that gets turned, which we'll get to that in a minute, but uh, when you turn it, it's going to lower down. Then obviously you put this through the, you know, the hole on your, your spare tire, and then you're able to crank it up and keep it in position. And it seems like, um, you know, people use this in a lot of different applications. Uh, today we have a, a medium-sized motorhome and they actually had a spare tire here originally, but it was kind of just a chintzy bolt, and they had some issues with it rusting and everything else, and they wanted to do away with it. And I could definitely understand that anyway, because, you know, there's no way to lower the tire down. It's something, it, it used to be a piece like that that essentially just unscrewed, and then the tire came flying down. So good luck getting it uh, back up and taking it down safely. So now, if uh, they do happen to get a blowout or need to change your tire, they can go out back, lower this down safely, pull it out, put the old blown tire up here until they can go get it repaired or whatever. So pretty convenient, but um, you know, this, this is gonna work in just about any application really. And obviously there's things you're gonna have to look out for so it works properly, but you know, you can bolt this up to your trailer, your, you know, your regular utility trailer, it looks like uh, someone used one on a kayak trailer, a uh, boat trailer. I mean, just about anything where you can bolt this to and you need a spare tire, as long as you got the room, uh, you'll be in pretty good shape. Something um, that's worth noting is it feels like it has a decent gear ratio. So one turn actually lowers the cable down a decent amount. Um, so you're not gonna have to turn it for hours to get this thing to lower. I know I've come across some of them where they just keep turning and turning and turning and nothing ever happens. Well, this one's uh, about perfect, honestly, about how I'd want it. Uh, low enough gear to where you can get the tire up easy, not have to fight it, but not take forever either. It is a steel cable there. With that said, this is going to handle up to 150 pounds. Uh, so every spare, just about, you should be in pretty good shape. If your spare weighs over 150 pounds, you need to uh, look at something else or, um, you know, that's, that's a really, really heavy spare tire so generally speaking this should be good um, for just about any application something that i do want to mention um, that i wish was a little bit different especially in our application is the fact that our rod here that turns it um, is below our mounting points and so Whenever I bolted this up, I come to realize whenever you put the tire up that the tire would normally sit against these metal portion, uh, these metal supports. But obviously with this rod here, that's not gonna work, right? Because the tire would hit it and pinch it. So I did have to change that up a little bit and put these uh, pieces of steel here to give me the clearance I needed. And granted, that's just any type of design you know, every design is going to be a little bit different, but just keep that in mind wherever you want to mount this up, where your spare tire is going to sit uh, flat, it has to be below this portion there. Um, you know, if they could have put that up a little bit higher, change things up a little bit, uh, it might make it a little bit easier in, in some applications, but you know, it's just going to depend on, on what you're needing and what you're trying to do. And uh, in order to operate this, you are going to need this uh, rod as well and this just uses a cotter pin just clips onto the end of it the cotter pin and hardware and everything else don't come included you'll have to get that by yourself but by putting this on that'll allow us to uh, use a tool to actually turn this from the back of our motor home and get our tire uh, either down or up other than that though, I mean, not really a whole lot to it. Uh, it's just a winch, you know, really. The sides are made from metal. This piece here is plastic. It feels well built. Everything feels tight and solid. Um, and from here, it's really just good trying to figure out if this is gonna work for you or not. So 
Now we'll go over some measurements and stuff. I pulled the cable uh, out completely. If you're wondering about the length of it, it's about 45 inches, believe it or not. So it comes down a pretty long way. So I feel like that ought to be uh, good for most people. And if you're wondering if, you're, if your tire, if the center hole is really big and wondering if this will catch it, we'll grab that measurement real quick just to be on the safe side. Again, this will probably work for just about all of them. So that's about seven inches there. Um, obviously, if it's smaller than that, you're, you're fine. You can do this to work it up through there. So it really don't matter how big you know, the, the center hole is. Uh, this will more than likely fit through it there. And in terms of if you're trying to figure out where to mount it or anything like that, um, the overall length of it, so from end to end, is going to be about six and one quarter of an inch and as far as the width goes let me measure that again that is going to be about an inch and three quarters wide so relatively compact and you should be able to sneak this in uh, quite a few different places and we'll get a height measurement too i kind of forgot about that one here so from the top to the very bottom, that's going to be about four and one quarter of an inch. So just wanna talk about how to actually operate the, the uh, spare tire winch. So I talked about that adapter tube that you're gonna to need to put onto it, cotter pin it, and that's gonna run back to where you're trying to get to it. Um, in our case, really the only thing I could do is put it behind her license plate and I drilled the hole and just like how you would do it with your car, you know, you take your spare tire tool, put it in there and rotate it. So you can pick up uh, this guy here, but honestly, if you had a four way, like a regular tire iron or, or even just a socket set, a large socket set, all this is is a three quarter inch uh, six point socket, essentially just welded onto this uh, rod. But you know, it's nice to have a complete package, um, you know where it is. So if you want this, you can grab an ED trailer, but I'll line that up there and works no different than any other spare tire. You can just crank it up and down. And that'll finish up our look at of our Lippert spare tire winch.